Uh, you want to learn something to warm up the body and basically, you know, uh, melt the ices and start to stretch the body in different, you know, aspects. I'm going to use sun salutations, which are very famous in yoga or in Sanskrit, we call them Surya Namaskar practices that helps us to warm up the body and they have palate cleansing qualities. So it would be great if you can do them in the morning. Remember, it's only seven minutes, but if not, you can do them during the day anytime that you want. So when you're ready, just get on your mat, any corner at your place. If you don't have a mat, you can do it on a carpet. Again, any peaceful corner at your place. So standing at the top of your mat, we are standing in the mountain pose. I will say the names of the poses as I'm going through that and we will Keep practicing this, you will eventually learn the name of the pose. So open your arms, feet are parallel to each other, and when you're ready, very gently inhale, reach your arms all the way toward the sky. Touch your palms, gaze up with your exhale, bring your hands to your heart. And again, one more time, inhale, reach your arms up. Touch palms, gaze up, lean a little bit backward, Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. And again, inhale, going up. Lean backward, exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Great job. Now this time, inhale, reach your arms up. Gaze up, exhale, forward fold, coming to your Uttanasana. This is called Uttanasana, the name of the pose that you can see. So you just let the head and the neck, you know, release them. Let, let the head to hang. Breathe in and breathe out. Now inhale, lift your chest halfway. This is called Ardha Uttanasana in Sanskrit. And exhale back to your Uttanasana. Root down and rise up. Reach your arms toward the sky. Inhale. Again, touch palms, gaze up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. We will do this again. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold to Uttanasana. Inhale, lift your chest halfway, lengthen the spine. Exhale, back to your Uttanasana. And root down and rise up, reach your arms toward the sky. Again, inhale here with your exhale, bring your hands to your heart. So now this time, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. Exhale, place your hands on the floor and step back to your plank position, as you can see. So from your plank, you're going to push the upper thighs back to your downward facing dog. This is your first down dog. Especially if you're doing this in the morning, start to pedal your feet one, feet, one foot at a time. Breathe in and breathe out. And from here, let's walk your feet toward your hands. And again, root down through the feet, rise up, reach your arms toward the sky, inhale here, exhale, bring your hands to your heart. One more time, inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, fold forward, coming to your Uttanasana, inhale, lift your chest halfway, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, place your hands, step back to your plank position. From your plank, this time, put the knees down, come all the way down to your belly. Place your hands next to your rib cage. As you can see, I'm, you know, my elbows are hugging my torso. And now press to your hands, inhale, only lift the upper chest. This is called cobra pose. Exhale, lower. Now, again, push through the hands and knees. Curl your toes and back to your downward facing dog. In Sanskrit, we call this Adho Svanasana. And now again, gaze between your hands, start to walk your feet toward your hands. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. Exhale back to your Uttanasana, root down and rise up, reach your arms toward the sky. Inhale here, exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift your chest halfway, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step back to your plank position. Again, put the knees down, come all the way down to your bellies. Place your hands next to your ribcage. Elbows are hugging your torso, press to your hands, inhale, cobra pose, exhale, lower, again, press to your hands and knees, 
Curl your toes back to your downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. And again, walk your feet toward your hands. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, back to your Uttanasana. Root down and rise up. Reach your arms toward the sky. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. So these were called Surya Namaskar or Sun Salutation version A. Now we're going to go and make them a little bit more complicated. Now inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. Exhale, place your hands on the floor. Step back to your plank position. From your plank, option if you want to put the knees down or if you want to come all the way down to your bellies on your mat. Place your hands next to your ribcage. Press your hands. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. Exhale, lower your chest. And again, curl your toes. You can push back to your plank position all the way back to your downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Now, when you're ready, inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, bend your knee, shift forward. Either you step it maybe halfway or if you can bring it all the way to the front. If you put it further, further back, you can push it forward. Pin your back heel down. You're rising up to your warrior two, opening your arms to the side. This is called warrior two. Your knee should be above your heel. Now, windmill both hands all the way toward the floor. Back to your plank position, back to your downward facing dog. Now, inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bend your knee and shift forward, step down. Again, pin the back heel down, rise up to your warrior two. When you're ready, again, one more time, windmill both hands all the way toward the floor, back to your plank position. Come all the way down to your bellies on your mat. Place your hands next to your rib cage. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, lower down. And again, either with the knees on the floor or you can push back to your plank right away and push back to your downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Walk your feet toward your hands. And inhale, lift your chest halfway. Exhale, back to your Uttanasana. Root down and rise up, reach your arms toward the sky. Inhale here with your exhale, bring your hands to your heart. So we will do this last round and we are done with our seven minutes practice for today. So if you start feeling that you're getting warmer, that's completely natural. And remember it has some sort of palate cleansing. So inhale, reach your arms up. Gaze up, touch palms. Exhale, forward fold to your Uttanasana. Inhale, lift your chest halfway, lengthen the spine. Exhale, place your hands and step back to your plank position. From your plank, come all the way down to your belly on your mat. Place your hands next to your ribcage. Press to your hands. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, lower yourself down. And again, either keep the knees down like this. Or you could come to the plank right away and curl your toes and push back to your downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Let's take a deep inhale, open your mouth, let it go. Now start to walk your feet toward your hands. Inhale, lift your chest halfway, lengthen the spine. Exhale back to your Uttanasana. Root down and rise up, reach your arms toward the sky. Inhale here, exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Great job. So our practice for today, for day one, is done and it's over. So if you guys want to do this again in the morning, feel free to do it. Otherwise, during the day, or if you want to even do this like twice, there is no harm in it. So you can do it if you have more time and if you like to continue with this warming of the body.